Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to the end of this game of Endless Legend, uh, where we must eliminate Red, I think it's very important, but once we've eliminated Red, the game is over, right? We can sort of win at our leisure in any way of our choosing, or just sit back and let Pink win the game for us, uh, but we do have to eliminate Red, I, I think it is important. If Red were to declare war on me, I'm not certain I would survive it, which means that we do actually have to get them off the table. So, I remember to mash the hell out of the march button here so that we don't get accidentally uh, caught and murdered. But I think, aside from that, we are ready to go. It'd be cool if this winter would end. Alright, come on, guys. It's possible that we would not get caught anyway. They seem to have mostly passed us. Oh, hey, that's actually enemy units there. We... Man, this sucks. I just barely can't make it into my territory as long as that guy is there. Alright, let's go like this. Yep, just there's no no way for me to make it home. But I can get close. You guys need to get down here. So... We want to put this assassin in this army. Hold on a second. We don't actually want to buy Tom Criers first. The game's not going to be long enough for this to matter. We want tier 2 weapons. Titan bones have run out. It's not really a big deal. Needs on bones. His level is probably irrelevant. Uh, Jassa Murdap. Same deal. Almost certainly irrelevant level. Okay, our spy just leveled up. This is important. So in four turns, we're going to be infiltration level four. We're going to be able to trash their fortifications all the way down to zero. You know, I think I want to change up our play here a little bit. Um, let's get 30% attack on our units and sacrifice some building buyout because we're not really going to be buying that many buildings anymore. Alright, uh, Glanda, I mean, anything that's this far away from... Oh, hey. Strategic Intensifier is available now. You know, I did quit and reload between this episode and the last one. I wonder if that fixed it. I've been recording a long time today. Uh, it's been a lot of hours. I needed a little break. Alright, here we can probably just buy out some more... Oh, no, I don't have any money. Okay, um... I don't know what to do here, then. Just start a unit, I guess. It, it doesn't really matter. Alright. Let's talk about... New weapons and stuff. We don't actually have a ton of resources to play with. But it is most important that we get these guys upgraded, right? At this point, it's such a big light, it's such a big stack gap that we probably can move up to the dust. Yeah, the most important thing is getting these guys upgraded. Because they're doing the lion's share of the damage. Alright, any dust, that's fine. Yeah, the dust is not a big deal. And then, like, the assassins. Make sure the assassin design has the tier 2 weapons on it. This is a little tricky, like, how do we how do we deal with the fact that we have such a disparity? I guess let's um let's do it like this. What can we buy on the market? Okay, there's a ton of both. Actually we're fine. Okay, we'll do a bunch of retrofits at the beginning of the next turn, and then we will be, I guess, ready to go. We need to get to there. These three units need to be waiting for you. So yeah, next turn we spend a bunch of money buying resources, retrofitting, making sure our heroes are appropriately outfitted. And then we, uh, then we march. So you guys can also come over here. <laughs> There's a lot of red units. So we have to catch Sarad at a moment when... 
there are not a lot of units nearby. We have to be very careful about our angle of approach. We will potentially get up to two rounds to fight, right? Do not go in the lightning. Um, we'll potentially get up to two rounds to fight, because if we wait for them to expend the movement on their units, we can run up and attack, siege so that nothing gets rebuilt, the militia don't come back to life, and then attack again at the very beginning of the next turn. And if we manage to take the city on either of those attacks, we don't have to worry about a counterattack or anything, because the whole faction ceases to exist. Instantly, the moment they lose the city. Just a matter of actually getting to that point. Can we relocate you now? Yes, we can. Right, let's just snap her over to here. Oh, nervous. A lot of the game comes down to this. What's in this garrison right now? Hmm, all of a sudden their units are looking a lot better. Okay, not that guy so much. Or that guy. But that Nameless Guard design is uh, improved. Look at what they are building each turn. Jesus Christ. Alright, well. Is what it is. We gotta get you inside of our border. And then we need to make the trip over to... I'm gonna aim for... Along the south edge of Dutharad through Brahma to hit the south side of Sarad. Because most of their units seem to be gathered around the north a lot. Okay, there we go. Everybody got to safety. You know what? Fine. Fine, here you go. Uh, so we were making Burrow Streets, but now we can't. Why was I making Burrow Streets, but not what? Happening in Rigsina. Why was I making Burrow Streets, but then lost the... Whatever, it doesn't matter. Alright, we're getting spied on just a huge amount. Decrease population. Decrease population. He has a lot of spies. Okay. Retrofit. We are short... About 30 adamantian... But that's it. Okay, we can buy 30 adamantium. Hmm, all of a sudden there's been a run on the adamantium. Alright, so Ziyama Adya has this Shadow Guard trait that might make it the case that we want to just leave her swords on. We'll figure it out in a second here. Let's start by whipping tier 2 improved... Eh. Don't want to just go improve damage. We're going to have to hack through an awful lot of enemy. Just like a huge amount of enemy health. And then we definitely want army health boost too. That's very important. And then I'm also going to give you this. And the tier 2 boots. Okay. Oh, I didn't actually... Hold on. I didn't actually do the math. So, if we were to say... Replace her swords with a shard of a Cariel. Hold on, let me actually look at the numbers here. 194, 176. Yeah, okay, we definitely want to replace her weapon. Uh, and I kind of would like to give her an axe in the offhand. Yeah, that's the kind of thing we want to do. So I need to buy probably quite a bit of Palladium, because we're going to have to do both heroes up a little bit. Alright, so like main hand shard, offhand an axe for the range slayer trait, because it turns out nameless guard. All right, three points of range slayer is a lot of bonus damage against those archers. And then the Sable Blade also needs a little bit of a touch-up. Need one of those. Uh, 33 life plus 15% defense. Yeah, I think that's... I think that is better. And... Probably want to do the legs as well. 9 defense, 20% attack. It's a lot of extra life, and there's initiative to be gained. 
And then, uh, sword. The weapons. The weapons. If, you know what I didn't actually even look at is whether this is an improvement. 226, 181. There's a little bit of attack gained, but you lose damage. Does have a higher level of infantry slayer. Yeah, okay. What on earth is Oh Was I equipping Yes, I was equipping a two handed sword. They don't even show you the uh, the one handed sword when you have a shard of a Cariel available. Okay, that makes sense. Because it's just better. Alright. We are ready. Ready as we're getting, anyway. You have just enough movement to jump out here and grab this and jump back. Fifty blood crystal. Well... Okay, I'll pop. A, I'll pop a blood crystal booster. I'm not above a blood a blood crystal booster. Ah, oh, nervous. Let's go for it. We just have to stay close together here. Try not to get seen. If we get caught out in no man's land, they will attack us, and we will suffer. Okay, they ejected a bunch of the units from the garrison. I guess that doesn't really necessarily mean very much for us, because all of those units could be rebuilt by the time we get over there. Uh, you guys don't really have anything of value to do. You can go take fortresses over. I don't need them, but you can take them. I don't care about your quest. Okay, 100, I mean, it's not nothing. Do so we actually, yeah, we want the Sable Blade to lead the attack, right? Because the Emma Adya does not have Rallying Call. Boy, if we could get over there while there's like eight units in their garrison, that would be pretty good. We have three turns. I wonder if I left early. No, this is probably good. It seems like their units are not coming around the south of Dutherad's Lake. I think we're pretty safe here. That guy's going to be able to see us as we walk past, which is a danger for sure. Oh! Cultists finished their quest. Well, that's interesting. Oh boy, they're, like, actually really close to us. They're fighting pink. I mean, pink seems to have come out of that all right. They have a lot of units left. Not sure whether or not they will briefly see us as we run across the village. Like, hope they're not paying attention. They have a lot of stuff going on. God, they have a lot of stuff going on. Okay. Okay. Six units in the garrison. And they've queued up the Temple of the Earth's Core. An 18-turn Temple of the Earth's Core. So, we really do have to kill them. We are extremely on the clock. But they're only going to build a limited number of units. Hopefully they're going to deplete their garrison running stuff out to fight uh, with pink. And we can just catch them by surprise. So hopefully they're not going to see any of this coming, right? We want to move to, like, here and here. They don't have any watchtowers on this side. I'm going to have to hover for a turn, which is a little nerve-wracking, but... I think we're going to be okay here. Any naval unit? I Nope. 
That's not a thing I can do right now, trivially. Really like the way this uh, ocean region is laid out. You get to take a take a fortress and then still get a ruin every turn. <laughs> These poor guys just like crouching underneath the watchtower hoping none of the huge doll monsters notice them. All right. Uh Redalto needs to build something but like it extremely doesn't matter what it is. We got our population reduced again. Because we are not technically at war, um, the AI is probably not going to blow up my morale, I think. The moment the war declaration happens, things are going to get pretty wild. And again, it is worth remembering, no matter how bad the situation looks, if we just take their city, they immediately lose the game and all of their units are deleted. So, that's that's our out here, is we just catch them with their pants down once. The real danger of playing the cult is that your, your pants are liable to be caught down in a way that other factions' pants never quite get down. Alright, so their Temple of the Earth's core is coming along very quickly. Jeez, they have a lot of units. It seems like Pink is holding out, though. Wait, 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 wait. Do not come over here. Okay, you're out of movement. We just have to move carefully around you so that you do not get vision of me at any point during my movement. Because I am not ready to be caught yet. Decrease population. Who is pillaging? Oh, it's... Okay, whatever. Red has started building the Temple of the Earth's core. This is a very serious problem. Okay, this better work, or I'm actually going to lose. It's alright, it's going to work. It's going to work, because it, ha it has to. Alright, let's get some stuff in the queues here. So, next turn... We damage fortification down to zero, we declare war, or we talk, we, sorry, we make a deal with pink for me to declare war on red, because that way we can get some attack out of it. Although, what do they have that we, it might not matter. We crash their fortification down to zero, and then we rapidly kill 11 units with our 16 units. Who else needs orders? You can go complete my control of this ocean region. You know what? I'm not even going to talk to this one. They only have one ship in here. Let's just do away with it. Hooray! We have another region. You guys shouldn't move. You guys shouldn't move. You should move. Alright, we are as ready as we are getting. really hoping that they disengage some of these 11 units to go fight Pink, the way that they disengaged a bunch of units before. Pink is actually closing in on them. Are Pink's units, like, really good? Is that what's happening here? No, Pink's units are horrible. Okay, not all of them. Some of these guys are reasonably equipped. But, like, that says 47 attack, 71 damage. How is that unit... How is Pink winning these battles? Okay, so we want to ideally just sit here and wait. If these birds happen into us, things could get rough. But what I really want to do is wait for them to use up all of their movement so that we can move in and attack and they can't respond in any way on this turn. A bird is going to bump into me. Okay, nope, it's narrowly avoided me. Okay, a lot of stuff is happening. One of my cities is being sieged by... What? Hold on, just wait, just wait. Everybody be calm. I am freaking out right now. Okay, they know. They dare not attack here, I think. I think that would be suicide. 
Okay. Eight units in the garrison. Those are okay units. Those are pretty all right. This is a pretty weak vine snake. That's a pretty bad guy. And this is a remarkably good dredge. Uh, we have been population decreased and population decreased and population decreased. Okay, we're sieged by whatever. All right, everybody get drunk one more time. Oh, hey. 2200 dust a turn. We're actually at 10k. We're like, we're in a place where it would not be that hard to win a dust victory from here. Provided that we stop that from happening. Which is what we're doing right now, right? Okay, so first things first. The war declaration. What if I declared war on your mortal enemy? What would you give me? Why, he'd give me so many things. Well, hold on. What would I need to get into the next era? I would need eight technologies. There's no way, right? He's not going to give me eight techs. One, two, three, four... Okay. In that case, let's take techs that are actually good. Although, there aren't any, right? No, I mean, nothing we could take here matters, in a very real sense. Uh, so, what we... Minor faction assimilation slot? Like, public granary's good. Native district for an extra, extra assimilation slot's good. Oh, actually, yeah, give me two assimilation slots. Yeah. And then we'll take... Do you have any stat boosting? No, you do not really have any stat boosting luxuries. Okay, let's do this. Then, we take our assimilation slots and we get whatever combat stats we can get. 15% initiative. 25% defense. Sure. Uh, plus 15% attack. Plus move is probably not right. Health regen is not going to matter. This, this battle's kind of all or nothing. So yeah, it's like 15% initiative or 15% attack. Uh, so their initiatives are in like the 113, 51. Their initiatives are mostly pretty low. We're going to go after the Tedekes, but before everything else. If we took the initiative bonus, we would go before the Tedekes. Some of us will already. That actually makes it kind of tough. That it, it like it does it does matter, in a way that it usually doesn't. But attack to overcome the morale bonus they're going to have for fighting in friendly territory is the way I want to go. All right, so I'm now at war with you. Let's. Completely crash the fortification of your settlement. And then I need to actually stand in the region that the settlement is in. Hey, buddy. Do you want to... What is going on here? Why are you being so weird? Okay. If I attack from here, we don't get any additional armies or anything. We get whatever that is. All right. This will do then. We need to put them in siege mode. And then we need to attack. We need to lead with the Sable Blade Ayu Ado because Ziema does not have the extra reinforcement slots. And where's that guy? Do we do we use his move? We didn't. Okay, he can't get anywhere near us. Alright. This is it. This is a pretty important it. Does it matter how we do this? No, it doesn't. It doesn't change anything. Honestly, though, even if I don't get this, I've opened up a hole for Pink to maybe get it. Hopeful. I am hopeful. It's like all we have to do is take the city away from him and we win. All right. Oh, their governor's at one health. That's awesome. He's like a good combat unit, too. Yeah, that's really good for us. Okay, so you 
Let's see. I want you in a position. Oh, I can't. Can't set up over there. That's not actually orange. I want you in a position where you can attack one of the ranged units before it gets a turn, just to prevent it from messing with us too much. And then uh, from there, it's pretty much just like everybody runs screaming at the enemy. Okay, we just need any one archer to shoot their lord. Take him out of the fight. Hey, you. Shoot their lord. Take him out of the fight. And then the rest of you should really focus up. Do some pretty good focus here. So their militia have pretty okay stats. I'm a little concerned. Get a couple of guys to focus here. Uh, our lords don't really need to go after anybody in particular. We're going to get chain lightninged real bad. So we're, we're still going to be very grouped up by the time that uh, the guy with the chain lightning takes his turn. Well. He doesn't hit that hard. He can be a priority on the next turn. Let's try to get through these ranged as quickly as possible. Okay, 290, a little bit overkill. Didn't really do what I told him to do. Because I did I had given that guy a, a pretty explicit order, I felt like. He disagrees, clearly. Wow, 271, okay. It'd be cool if you guys would actually get kills instead of leaving everything alive for us to have to shoot later. I do believe we've done it. Not to not to uh, speak out of turn here or oversell our chances of success, but it looks pretty good, right? We killed way more stuff than I thought we were going to kill on this first turn. And actually, we ended up not that grouped up. Alright, uh, it sort of doesn't, we just have, we have so many attacks, and we all go before them, it sort of doesn't matter. I just let my guys do what they want to do. They've earned a little bit of, a little bit of cognitive freedom here. We might actually win the battle before the end of the turn. So this is the might of a, uh, a fully formed and reasonably armed... Uh, forgotten army. You can see the predator damage really stacks up. This is the part of the part of the round where everybody runs around for no reason. Three hundred influence points, and red is gone, and their armies are deleted, and that is the game. You believe the Empire of Amar has been defeated? It lives on only in tales, and we beat them not through brute force but through subterfuge and punching them when they weren't looking. Uh, my spy was partially wounded during the execution of the fortification damaging. Something tells me he will recover. We will make your cause our own and go to war against this empire. They're confused. I went to war against the empire. This is uh, misattributed. Okay, so... I hope you all will forgive me for this, but I think I'm actually going to call it there. Uh, it is completely trivial... For us to win the game from here, in fact, it is no longer possible for us to lose. Uh, the only other player left in the game is our ally. Really, we should we should get an elimination win right now, right? Because the only players that are left are our team. Um, it would be pretty easy to win a dust victory from here or to let Pink win the game from here. But it would probably take, honestly, more than the rest of this video. We'd go into another one. And I have been recording Endless Legend for almost six hours at this point. Uh, in order to get this game done before the Symbiosis patch drops in a few hours and uh screws everything up so i'm gonna i'm gonna call it here and go take a nap thank you all so much for watching i hope that uh i hope that you're all pleased with what i think actually was a pretty cool game we made good use of the uh the enhanced diplomacy capabilities of the endless legend community patch ai and we got a lot of cool stuff done here and we won in Proper, sneaky, bloody fashion. A very forgotten way for things to go down. So that is going to be it for us for today. Not just for this episode. Not just for this game. But for this series. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time for 
a different a different thing. Listen, I don't probably it's already probably there's already been several days of symbiosis episodes by the time this goes up. Come back next time several days ago for the first one of those and we will already have seen you then.